Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate another advanced tool called Helix. So a Helix is kind of a spiral pattern that can be used to make things like springs or screws or something of that nature. So what we're going to do today is actually turn this into a screw. Now I've already gone ahead and kind of drawn the base of the bolt here and we're going to create the threads around the center part of this bolt. Now first things first is we actually have to go ahead and create a Helix pattern. To do that, you can grab the Helix tool, which is on the right-hand side of your modeling toolbar. And it wants to know which round face or cylindrical face you want to twist this Helix around. So I can go ahead and click on the center part of my bolt, and you'll see it went ahead and drew a spatter, uh, spiral here. So I can go ahead and change the direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise. I can change the number of revolutions, so I can up this from four to six. I can actually change the starting angle if I wanted to as well. And then when you're all done with those settings, hit the green checkbox. Now we need to actually go ahead and create the face that's going to twist around the helix. So I'm going to select my front work plane and create a new sketch on that face. And I'm going to call that a profile because that's what it kind of is. And I'm going to change my view so I'm looking at it from the side. Now the crucial thing is that your profile starts at the same height as your helix. And here's what I mean by that. My helix is starting down here in this bottom corner. If I were to draw my profile up here, it would not actually twist around the pattern. In fact, it's going to miss the pattern altogether. So when I draw my profile for my threads, I need to make sure that it starts at the same height as the actual helix pattern itself. So I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom of the bolt and actually overlap a bit into the inside here and create this triangular pattern that I want to twist and turn into my threads. I'm going to hit my checkbox when I'm dr done drawing my profile. I'm going to go back to a three-dimensional isometric view. Now I can use the sweep tool to sweep this profile around my helix path. So first things first is you're going to select your profile and then we're going to click on the path button in the sweep menu and select the helix sweeping path. And what it's then going to do is twist my profile all the way around my helix. If I hit the checkbox, we now have a screw with spiral threads.